a very quick video for you all today and a topic that I think some of you out there, especially people who are still playing a lot of Battlefield 1, will be excited for. DICE has just lifted for the first time a timed exclusive DLC drop. This is the ultra rare barbed wire bat and it's now available for all players to unlock by completing a special holiday assignment. Now this melee weapon, it has been locked away so far from pretty much the entirety of the Battlefield 1 community since the launch of the game, it was part of an exclusive hardware deal with Logitech. Now if you bought any of their gaming hardware, you'd have been handed a code at the same time for this melee weapon and you could have activated that in Battlefield 1 and unlocked it there. Either that or you could have won one of 5,000 of these codes handed out by Logitech as part of a giveaway. Now I'm not sure the exact amount of people who actually have this weapon at the moment, but considering there's nearly 25 million people out there who've brought a copy of Battlefield 1, those 5,000 that were handed out in the giveaway and anyone else who bought Logitech equipment, that doesn't make a very huge number. They're actually quite a small group within that 25 million players. This makes it an extremely rare weapon. But to give you an idea of just how rare this weapon really is, we can take a quick look here at the Battlefield Tracker website. This is a third party website that has a lot more statistics on it than the standard Battlefield 1 client. And you can see here, if you go to the page for the barbed wire bat and you scroll down to 27th place for most kills with it, you will find my name. Now, I'm a fairly average to slightly good Battlefield player, and uh, it's pretty rare that I'm top of any kind of leaderboard at all. So the fact that I'm 27th in the world with this weapon, with 860-ish kills, that should probably tell you how rare it is, because there'd be no way I'd be at the top of this list if more people had this weapon. Now, originally, the holiday mission to unlock the barbed wire bat for any player, that was falling along the same lines as other lofty targets that we've had recently for these holiday missions. We had one for 300 shotgun kills, and that unlocked the Coop Coop melee weapon, and the most recent one was to destroy 100 vehicles to get the super rare Desert Gold heavy tank skin. Now, originally, the barbed wire bat was locked behind a 200 melee kill mission. The time limit was just four days, as were the others, but many people thought this one was quite a bit harder than some of the other missions. Not that those other missions weren't also difficult in their own right. Now DICE has decided in the last few hours to reduce the target from 200 to 75 melee kills, which I think is something that many more people will be able to get over the course of the next four, or by the time I release this video, three days. And of course, the mission is live right now. Head to the community mission section under the soldier menu and the tracker will be live there for you. That will track your 75 melee kills over the next few days. And just to note, bayonet charge kills do count as well. So if you're fond of that, you can start collecting dog tags in that way as well. Now, I'm not going to deny, it has been a pretty good feeling knowing that I've been using the barbed wire bat for a lot longer than most other people, but I will say I'm actually happy that DICE is now giving this away for free to everyone else who didn't get any Logitech equipment at the start of Battlefield 1. Especially for console players, Logitech don't even make any gaming gear for the PS4 and the Xbox One. But I will still be completing this mission along with everybody else, just to kind of say that I did it the legitimate way with the community, and then I'll just scrap it at the end and keep the other barbed wire bat that I've already got. Not only that, but I think it's quite a cool challenge, and I want to see how long it takes me over the weekend to get those 75 melee kills. But really, this video is to simply let you guys know that DICE is handing this thing out for free, and it's something that not many other people right now have access to, and I would still say that getting 75 melee kills across a four-day period is something that lots of people will not be able to do. So if you manage to do it and you get the melee weapon, you'll be part of a club of people that will still be very, very small within the overall Battlefield community. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you managed to unlock the barbed wire bat down below in the comments section. And I fully expect moving forwards that more of my deaths will be from this melee weapon that will no longer be as exclusive. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.